This move up Cincinnati might be more of a move down down in terms of downsizing. Sky House was supposed to change Cincinnati's riverfront. It's skyline, a huge apartment tower announced just a few years ago. But Evan Mill were just uncovered the plans for a new develop a new development and a smaller project. He is live downtown with the very latest apartment complex plans that you will see only on nine. Hi, Evan. Tanya, what's that they say in real estate location, location, location. Look at this skyline view of downtown and it's just as good of the river in northern Kentucky going the other way. You know, one major project may be dead right here in this prime real estate, but there is another already to be built behind it. Right now, 601 Pete Rose Way is busy. It is Reds game day and people need to park, but this is coveted land right next to the Purple People Bridge, walking distance to the stadium and the banks. And according to this sign, still for sale. Well, Cincinnati continues to be a healthy spot for residential development. Development Strategies Group's Doug Mormon says downtown can still handle about a thousand units of residential. This spot was going to transform into the nearly 400 apartment sky house from an Atlanta developer. That project appears dead according to city documents, but something will replace it. The visual change will be dramatic. Sky House was going to be 25 stories, meant to change the skyline of the riverfront. The artistry is just six stories, but will still bring more than 300 units of apartments to downtown. Sky House would have been opulent, a rooftop pool and fitness center, dog park, and 500 parking spots. What that does is makes those big buildings a little more difficult to, to finance uh, or to even contemplate because the rents might not be at a level yet in downtown Cincinnati where you can afford to build the sky rise. The Sky House developers didn't return my call today seeking comment about what happened, but indie based Millhouse will develop the artistry and a spokesperson tells me it is thrilled with the location. So what could have happened? As Nine on Your Side reported, Skyhouse struggled with financing from the get-go, saved by what then-city manager Harry Black called a precedent-setting profit-sharing agreement with the city in exchange for tax breaks. I would suspect that when you combine increasing land costs, increasing labor costs, increasing costs for materials, yeah, so here's some perspective. Sky House was about a $94 million development. The artistry will be about $77 million. Millhouse Development tells me it'll have representatives here in town next week when this goes in front of city council for approval. And they say they will then have a firmer set of details of what will be involved with this new development here on this coveted land. We're live in downtown. I'm Evan Millward, 9 on your side.